Are we good? We're recording on both. Yeah, we're we're good, right? Yeah, we're good. All right, let me get. I'll give me a couple more minutes. I got you. Uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome to episode two of the Nasty Work Podcast. I am your host. Oh no, nah. <laughs> Nate Russell. This is the iPad Kid, Luke Frazier. Hey guys, welcome to Nasty Work Podcast episode two. It's me, your host, Luke Frazier, with junior partner Nate Russell <laughs> over here. Suck my dick. <laughs> Crazy slander. All Nuts. Right. Um, let's get right into it. Mm -hmm. What do you watch on TikTok? You know, I'm not a TikTok girly. I'm not on TikTok really. I love that shit. I know you do. What have you been watching? What uh, were we just talking about? What were we just talking about? We were watching a man on break <laughs> oh, yeah. pour an entire <laughs> bottle of Crown Royal into a big gulp. And he also put a bunch of caramel and some Werther's Originals in it. What was the little, what was the sauce that he was putting it, in it? It was like, it was like uh, the like caramel sauce you put on ice cream. Dude, that's like big, big. That's a, that's a diabetic nightmare. Yeah, there's nightmare. a lot, there are a lot of people who drink kind of like diabetes inducing drinks and it's kind of insane. It's, that, that just doesn't look good in any way, shape I mean, it, or form. It looks good. I just don't know if it's too, gonna. Too who? Oh, I like sweets. Dude, you don't like sweets like that. I've never even seen you eat a piece of candy, I feel like. You be you I'd be sneaking it. <laughs> <laughs> Just like each other. I'd be telling people I don't have any candy in the house. I'd be like, opening my sock drawers full of like MMs and shit. Hi Q, when we lived together, like I remember I bought a... Uh, what was it? The green matcha tea Kit Kats, and you were like, "These are bullshit." And I come back the next day, and they're like, half of them are gone. <laughs> That's the problem. Is like I hate a lot of candy, but I'll eat all of it. That's the problem. I like I hate like Twizzlers, but if you leave me around them, I'm gonna eat like all of them. Twizzlers are a heater. What's your What's your like your movie candy? Are you not a big? <laughs> I don't want to admit this. I be getting the cookie dough bites. <laughs> Childish ass treat. <laughs> Those shits are good though. No, you they're can't get not. them anywhere. At least you're not eating fucking milk duds. <sighs> milk duds. I'd be taking a bag of Werther's Originals in there. Oh, that's some fucking Great Depression. Great Depression. I'd be ass Mary Jane's. Treat. What the hell are Mary Jane's? It's like some real Great Depression shit. Ugh. That's uh, no, not for me. Really? Not for me. What I'm, do you like? I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a Skittle guy. You know, I like to do the little. Ch -ch -ch. You can't trust a dude who be shaking his Skittles like that. That's a surefire way to not be able to trust someone. I get, I get some fucking Reese's Pieces. I'm just like. Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. Dude, that. What? It's just like, that is some Gen X candy. How is that Gen X candy? <laughs> the only reason anyone eats that shit is because it was an E.T. It is the most optimal form of Reese's Pieces. Well, Let's it's be the real. only version of Reese's Pieces. You mean of Reese's? Reese's. No, what's the, what's the shit that's like in Skittle form? Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. Is it Reese's Pieces or Reese's Pieces? This is the equivalent of like you calling the grocery store Kroger's, you know? Oh, just like, I mean, I'd never do that because, you know, we just have normal grocery stores like Harris giant. Teeters where the fuck are those what are those Harris Teeters like um the hot so if you, what they have that in Long Island that's the damn chrome hearts little guy you know that the, the chrome hearts dude with the arms like this that's not Harris Teeter bro it is. that's Tati or some shit it's Tony it's Fody but his name is Harris Teeter no fucking way <laughs> he's Japanese <laughs> Harris Teeter's a grocery store. It's like, so in LA, like there's like Ralph's and then Pavilions is the nicer version of the regular grocery store. Harris Teeter's like the nicer version of like a regular grocery store. They got a hot bar? Um, yeah, it's not like busting though. What's your favorite hot bar? Uh, Erwan. Actually, Erwan doesn't have a hot bar though. His name's Harris Teeter. That's so, that's so geeked up. Um, huh. Best hot bar. I mean, pre COVID, I would have said Whole Foods, but now. I, I guess it's got to be Wegmans, although I never really go to Wegmans. What's the difference between pre-COVID and post-COVID Whole Foods? A lot more seed oils this time, this time around. <laughs> I just, uh, it just doesn't hit the same. I remember really liking the mac and cheese um, pre-COVID. I just don't think I like it anymore. Dude, I would eat that mac and cheese, and I would go home, and it felt like there was a neutron star in my stomach. <laughs> Like I would be <laughs> laid up like on my I, there's side. A certain, there's a couple of restaurants in in the city that every time I eat them, I feel like I need to go to like urgent care. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always so. That's the thing. It's like it's the richest food. Like going down, it's like the mm. most delicious. Mm. But then you're just like you're just like bro. Like what the fuck did I do to myself? Like that Sticky's place, the ch the chicken spot that's like all over the city. What's Sticky spot? Uh, it's you know Sticky's is one in Union Square. It's like a chicken like tender spot, and they have like sauces and shit. Oh, and it's good. And every time I eat it, I'm like ready to like go to urgent care. 
Really? Shake Shack's the same way. I feel like I'm going to die when I eat that shit. Yeah, dude, I don't... What is up with their food? I, I think the problem is crinkle fries are worse for you than normal fries. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, they're... <laughs> Why? First of all, they're ugly. And so you eat with your eyes first. Secondly, the, the ridges hold toxins. That's why, like, the crinkle-cut carrots from Chinese food be making you feel like shit, too. Yeah, I don't feel like that's really based in any type of science. You just saw some white woman say that on fucking Instagram I just, or TikTok. I, I literally just made that up right now. <laughs> but it, it, sound, it sounds good. It exactly. sounded believable. That, well, that's kind of what it's all about. And I'm going to give our... <laughs> what? <laughs> This is on the podcast, second one to spread misinformation. <laughs> I'm going to give y'all some free game, bro. If you can say shit with enough confidence, people aren't going to question it. If it seems semi-plausible, people aren't going to question it. You started talking about the fucking carrots, and I was like, you might be on to something with this. <laughs> I was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. We'll do some research. We're going to circle back on this one. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. All right, I also really wanted to bring up uh, the God. Boeing uh, spaceship. That <laughs> So wait, I, I didn't read the news. What happened? Okay, so Boeing had a fucking spaceship, a Starliner that was supposed to compete with SpaceX, like sending people up to yeah, the... It was, but it's like a space shuttle, not a rocket, right? It's, I mean, same same thing, right? But like a, a, sh a space shuttle is reusable, a rocket you only use once. I think it's a. I think it's just like a reusable. Job. What, regardless, it's fucking Boeing, and I've been reading about it for the last couple of weeks. And as time has like gone on, there's just a bunch of people just being like, uh, "It's making like a weird sound." That was like there was like six articles that was just like this Boeing rocket is making weird sounds. I don't think it should launch. And the CEO of Boeing, as you know, you know, a very highly trusted individual, was like, "What the fuck does he know? He doesn't know shit about sounds. <laughs> like it's going up." And it, the launch stopped three minutes before takeoff. I'm going to go ahead and just put this on the record that I have no issue with Boeing, and I think they have a good safety record, and I don't want any fucking smoke with Boeing. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not blowing a single whistle against them. So here's a question. Here's a question. I don't want to hurt shareholder value. Are you going up in the Boeing spaceship? Going to space is fucking stupid. As a whole. Stupid. Let's let's just say alternate alternate situation. You're an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> you're an astronaut. Are you getting on the fucking like, Boeing? Like future or like or like uh, like a, I think like a real I, astronaut. <laughs> I think that ship has sailed. I don't think I don't see astronauting in your future. No, not, not like the rapper future astronaut status. Because he's so high. <laughs> Off Cody. Anyways, I guess I guess we're getting on the ship. Um, I'm not. You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Fair that enough. is like, dude. I mean, going to space is fucking crazy. That's like the equivalent of going to the ocean in that Titanic thing, like the Titanic sub. Well, that's just a bunch of rich guys that put that together. All, it's not NASA. What is the difference between NASA and a bunch of rich guys? It's just a bunch of rich guys with scientists glasses. with degrees. They went to school here's the thing dude is the world is run by people who didn't finish their degree and so all these fucking nerd scientists working for them they don't know shit about how the world works and see what happened to it like the the one the the undersea submersible with no technical person on it it fucking imploded and they were smushed we don't know what happened there's two sides to that story what do you, what is the alternative besides them getting turned into a fine pace that like maybe they're living down there with who um. Oh, no, oh no, man! <laughs> really thinking on this, huh? I got nothing to say. <laughs> I got nothing funny to hit you with. I'm so sorry. That's fair. That's um, fair. I think going to space is stupid, dude. Why? Why is that? Like, what's the what's the point? If because the only point of going to space is to get the anti gravity, but you could just go one of those skydiving tubes in Long Island. I think it's more like a like a mineral play. <laughs> There's no minerals in space. Fucking asteroids have minerals and shit. They're made of entire They're like gold. But like, shit. when's the last time they like they like they caught a mineral or a, not a mineral, a fucking asteroid? Well, you don't catch it. You land on it and you mine on it and then you that's catching bounce it. off. It's like Armageddon. Well, they blew that one up. But they 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 were miners, were they not? They were deep sea drillers. They they were like they were roughnecks. <laughs> they were some roughnecks. <laughs> I I want to go. I kind of want to get into fracking. Why? I just think that there's a lot of 
I think there's a lot of opportunity there. Where are we doing that? We should just start fracking in Manhattan. No, nah, we should go to like like South Dakota, go to the Badlands. Ugh, dude, no, fuck no. Have you ever been to South Dakota? Dude, it's gorgeous. When's the last time you were there? A few years ago. <laughs> a few years ago. Was this pre-COVID or post COVID? Because I heard that it's changed since COVID. <laughs> what, like, what's like the Whole Foods out bar? <laughs> Precisely. Well, what's changed about it? Um, I'm not really like that tapped in. You would know more than me since you've been there. Uh, here's the problem is, actually, I'm not going to say this because you have to edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> We said we were going to be better this time. All right, well, we're doing good so far. We are doing good. We are doing good. We're doing good. We're doing the Lord's work. What else you wanted to talk about? We were talking about it earlier. I want to talk about how anytime a rapper starts doing psychedelics, they get dusty. Mm. It's a proven fact. You can hit me, DM me, comment. I'm not going to start naming names here. Any rapper you can think of, if they've rapped about doing acid, they're dusty now. Why do you think that is? Like, what about the drug makes them dusty? I think what happens is rapping is so much about ego and, like, bragging. And when you have ego death, it makes you suck at rapping. That's a valid point. Yeah. That's a that's a very valid point, for sure. Yeah. Then again, I don't know if they're taking enough to experience re- true ego It's not like they have a job. What else are they doing? I don't know. I guess you're right about that. They're just <laughs> you know, pulling like, out. Well, I gotta like show up somewhere tomorrow. No, like, oh, man, I'm off of six tabs. You know, time to go into the office, work on some spreadsheets. I gotta go to EDC. Mm-hmm. 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 Dance a little bit. You gotta do the avenue. <laughs> I don't even. I can't do the dance. That's fucking cool. I mean, I would say that I feel like there's a there's a fine line of psychedelics that you should take, but after a certain point, you're right. It does start to fuck with. It makes the you mind so of, fried, dude. I mean, th- I can think of so many examples of people that I were like really excited, like artists I was really excited for. They they got a little out of hand with the psychedelic drug use. You know, they start posting at odd, odd hours of the night. <laughs> just being well, four a.m. Instagram posts nine hundred likes on a three hundred thousand post, uh, th- thousand follower po- uh, page. It, and just like real weird, weird cryptic messages. You know what I'm talking about, yeah, though. Yeah, I'd love an example. I don't want to give any examples. I'm not trying to air anybody out. You can bleep it. All right, well, I think a really good example of this is McConan. Oh, uh, well, didn't he kill his best friend? He he did. He did, but he, several years ago... I feel him do, on that. He started doing acid and shit, and then it really just... His entire brain kind of switched well, you and know, stuff. There's, there's a person that we both know who we went to VCU with... Uh, or like lived in Richmond with, who like came back from like a festival one year and has been, kind of been extremely fried ever since. We we'll just still see in trails. Well, so the fucked up thing was, um, one of my homies back in the day, like dropped his laptop, and you know how like it like like if you break the screen, it like kind of like turns into like like fractals and like a bunch of colors. And he said that they were kind of like chilling one day, and he opened the laptop up, and the dude was like, "Oh my god!" And he was like, "What?" He was like. That's what it looks like. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, that's what it looks like when we're having flashbacks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was like, that sounds like a nightmare. That's, that's why I, I do not like psychedelics. I mean, I really have been not fucking with them for a very long time as well. Grown ass man doing psychedelics is crazy. I'm sorry. I mean, you go get a fucking job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, like what? <laughs> That's crazy, dude. If you're over 26 and you're doing psychedelics like that, like maybe like some mushrooms, but if you're doing like acid or DMT, like as a grown ass man, it's like, bro, like what the fuck do you got going on? Nothing. Exactly. You're out of EDC. You're or, a deadhead. Or, or you're a dead co in the sphere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you're on some like real weird timing, just like trying to. There's just to- like something so unsavory about like a grown ass man who should be in charge of all his like functions being off acid you know yeah because you feel like a child i've never done it I, that sounds terrible you get like kind of like sandbox and everything is just funny for like an hour i feel like there's like three different parts what about it's the like, other like 19 hours of being on it exactly so the come up is like kind of like sandbox you feel like a toddler you're just sitting there drooling laughing <laughs> having an amazing time and then you're kind of like peaking and it's like you probably have laughed so much. Hopefully you're having such a good time. You've laughed so much that like your entire body hurts because you're just laughing. And then you have like, for me, it's always been like, uh, oh shit. Like you start having like thought, you start seeing like the trees and shit and you start thinking about your own mortality and stuff. <laughs> 
sounds horrible. You're like, dude. You're like oh man, this mortal coil. <laughs> Hate this. Next thing you know, you drop a shitty rap album. <laughs> exactly. And then you, what's the part three? Part three is you wanting so desperately for it to be over. <laughs> that would be me in forty five minutes in. And you're like, oh my god, dude, when is this gonna? When can I go to sleep? Yeah. Because sleeping on acid, I've done it, but you got to kind of get like a little drunk. Like you gotta like have like a couple like booze just to calm you I, down. I've only like gotten really fucked up on mushrooms a couple times. Probably like four times, and one of them was terrifying, mm -hmm. and the other three I was hammered before I ate them, and it was fun. Oh, uh, see? Well, I mean, mushrooms is like a much different vibe. That's more of like uh, fireworks going on or off in your body. Kinda. I haven't done mushrooms in probably like a decade. And then like the acid's more of like fireworks going off in your brain. Oh, yeah. see, I already got a fucking, you know, a full armada of things blowing off in my brain all the time. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's every neuron is Every fire. neuron's firing all the time. I'm like, you've seen that Bradley Cooper movie where he's on Adderall. Uh, Limitless? Yeah. Is that what he's on, Adderall? Yeah, it's just about Adderall. Oh, he's just popping Addies. Yeah, maybe Vyvanse. I feel like, I don't think I've seen Actually, no, I have seen I've that. I've never seen it. I, I've I seen it. shit about it. I've seen it, and like it's so funny, because in like, the first like 20, first of all, he's dusty as hell. And Bradley like, Cooper the, is generally kind of dusty. It, who? Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper's not dusty. He's like a dusty McConaughey. No. All right. No, no, no. Whatever you say. No, there ain't no way. I like Bradley Cooper. I like McConaughey. You're a McConaughey guy? I certainly am. Your southern side is starting to I show. wish I had a thick southern accent. I'm so, I feel so fucking cheated. You could just start doing it. I suppose, <laughs> I suppose I could. <laughs> hey there, Nate. <laughs> we're back with nasty work. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to accept. This just doesn't What's really wrong? do too well in the store for us. Yeah, I'm. I, listen, man. I'm. Uh, um, have you tried Second Street? <laughs> <laughs> they might be interested. I. I cannot. I. This is just does not meet my criteria. Did your parents dissuade you from having that accent when you're in? Because no. your mom has kind of like. A yeah, I don't know. I just it. didn't really get it. Your dad doesn't have one at all. I think that's the problem. Because he was like yelling at you. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was hitting me with a with a phone book. <laughs> Shout out, Jeff. <laughs> Like, right. Don't talk like that. <laughs> Stop. Why are you doing this? <laughs> this hurts like the dickies. <laughs> you, you in a fucking baby seer sucker suit? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> fucking, That's so fucking beat me up, pouring, pouring a mint julep on me. Oh, no. <laughs> up on the porch. <laughs> uh, man, that's one thing I do miss about the South so much. Every fucking house has a porch. Yeah. You just hang out on the porch, smoke cigarettes, and just drink PBRs and shit. You're just talking about Richmond. You're not talking about the entire South. <laughs> I think that kind of like, I don't know, that kind of is the entire South hanging out on porches and like drinking beer and shit. Yeah, I guess I guess so. You guess so. I mean, what else I is there to do? So. Maybe shoot a gun. <laughs> Whew, don't make me. You know, go out mudding. I gotta, I gotta, don't make me protect my castle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, mm -hmm. castle doctrine. Yeah, for sure. Um, what else? Do you have anything else that you really, really wanted to talk about? I wanted to talk about the. Yeah, you got some things. I wanted to talk about the um, Crunchwrap Supreme Cheez It situation <sighs> that's coming out. It's a giant cheese. It is a like, big ass cheese. It. I saw a TikTok about it. <laughs> it's just a fucking piece of paper, dude. It it seems. Like a affront against nature to make a cheese it that big. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous, ridiculous thing. And I will also you, go on the record and saying that the Crunch Wrap Supreme is gross. the smooth brains it's, choice. It's gross, yeah. Like at Taco Bell, yeah. like it's, it's not the only good. thing worse is the Mexican pizza. Fuck you, Mexican pizza is a, a slice of paradise. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> slice it, it, slice of an idiocracy. <laughs> Fuck no! All right, all right. What do you get at fucking Taco Bell? Cheese gordita crunch, banger. The thinking man's um, <laughs> choice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's like it depends, like because there's two different Taco Bell orders. There's mm -hmm. I want Taco Bell, and then there's I'm hungover, and I may or may not did blow the night before. Mm, fair. So regular order is like cheese gordita crunch, chicken quesadilla. The hungover order is like. Cheesy Gordita Crunch, um, chicken chalupa, um, 
quesadilla and then maybe like one other like accoutrement and a baja blast i mean real talk for me maybe the frozen one hung over i'm not even sliding on taco bell i'm doing much nastier work i'm Such hitting as? i'm hitting kfc famous you get bowl, a bowl getting two bowls because two? it's because it's ten dollars and if you uber eats it just a ten dollar order is sad well you kind of save money by getting the second bowl you get the second bowl you put I it in talked, the fridge we, uh, there, you know my kfc in my hometown at a buffet what yeah Dude, that's... We used to make our own bowls. That's diabolical. It was. KFC is gross. You don't fuck with... You don't rock with the C? You don't rock, <laughs> you don't rock with... You don't rock with the Colonel? Um, that gracious ass chicken. It's kind of gross. You know, it's like... I feel like it's really, really hard to get fried chicken right. Popeye's is good. Popeye's is an absolute heater and it's been banging. The Chinese Popeye's over here are good. It's good. But Popeye's is so expensive now. It is. Yeah, I can't afford it in this economy. <laughs> what? It's like it's a treat every once in a while. Yeah, it's like it's a, a treat every treat. time I want to feel like I'm going to die from diabetes. Yeah, dude. Because Also, they got rid of like, when we used to go, like, you know, when we were like younger, they had like 50 sides. Now they only have like three sides. At least maybe it's only in New York. But I, they only have like fries, mac and cheese, and like mashed potatoes. They used to have like dirty rice and like... Red beans and rice, and like they used to have all this like southern ass shit. Well, I feel like it kind of changes based off of like the ethnicity of the franchisee. Yeah, and the yeah. place that it actually yes. is. I got a question. On the other side of things, have y'all seen that lady on Instagram or TikTok who makes everything from scratch? And she. Oh, Nara like, Smith. Yeah, 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 yeah. I figured you would know. I'm not sure if you've seen her. I've never seen her. She's bad as hell. She's like, she's like, she's like, she's like a model and she's like married to, uh, some like dude who was like a popping model in the early 2000s. This dude like Lucky, I think he's like a Mormon, and they have like he'd be shooting the club up crazy. They have like five kids, but she's all like she's like gorgeous, but she's like definitely like she's like ger half German and half you know her dad definitely like slid on some like freaky you know like woman that like he couldn't pull like a bad bitch in Germany, so he went to like some Southeast Asian country you know or like some country somewhere else and like. You know, you know how that shit goes. She's she's Asian. No, she, I think she's like she's Indian like bl Asian or black. Is she part black. Are you are you talking about the girl that like made it's like the focaccia bread and she'd be like holding her baby yeah, and yeah, then yeah, she'd be Nara. like she'd be like wearing like some shit that like like a nineteen. Oh, she's South house. African and German. She's bad as hell though. Oh my god. Yeah. Jeez. She's only twenty two. Oh shit. How many kids do you have? She got to get it together, bro. <laughs> Shorty, I know, you I'm, were born after September 11th. You gotta fucking. You should not have four kids. I'm sorry. I know. I have seen her videos and I watch them because it's like ASMR. Yeah, that's like, why she's, she's like, so popular. She's like, yeah, here I am. I'm making yeah. focaccia bread. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Her husband comes in the in the shit and it ruins it for me. I'm like, my fantasy. The fantasy is over. I'm like, fuck this nigga, bro. Yeah. I mean, good on him. I kind of like. I hate people who are taller, better looking than me, <laughs> or have more money. No one's smarter than me, so I can't say that. Uh -huh. But all everything else, if you're better than me, I fucking hate you. It's like, oh, it's a lot of hate. You got a lot of hate out there, then. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess the consensus is that we're not fucking with Popeyes. the no with the the cheese it <laughs> Crunchwrap Supreme. I mean, I don't think I've ever gotten a Crunchwrap Supreme because it's like it's all just like the worst. Things at Taco Bell kind of like shoved into a fucking tortilla. Yeah. I don't like nacho cheese sauce. The beef's gross. The mm -hmm. tomatoes are fucking mealy. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's like all the bullshit like jammed into like a pocket. Well, I mean, I'll try any freaky thing from a place at least once. Okay. You know what I mean? You remember when we did, we got that Dorito uh, Popeyes thing that they did? No, that was the uh, pa uh, Papa John's. The Papa John's. Papa John's is good. What's your. um? What is your fucking uh, like like fast food pizza rating? Pizza Hut boy at the very top, without a doubt. Domino's, um, and then uh, Domino's now, not Domino's, not Domino's from Papa back in John's, the day, dude. And PPJ over First of all, over there's so the much. Hut? There's so much to love. He's insane. He's completely fucking unhinged. Yeah, he's sick. They got stuffed crust, which is the best thing from Pizza Hut, so you can get what Pizza Hut has up on them, and it's just generally a little bit better. And the jalapenos are pickled. 
No, I will. I will push back against that and say it is not. The fuck you want. It is not fucking better. It is not better in any way, shape, or form. I'm sorry, dude. My quality ingredients are bad. The best thing about Papa John's is the it's got owner. better ingredients because it's better pizza. The the best thing about Papa John's is him doing the little videos online where he's like, like talking about the, other people's pizza. Yeah, he'd be going crazy. <laughs> he'd with be that like, shit. look at this guy. This is a vegan pizza. Costs eight dollars to make. He's a stud. Yeah, he's he's fucking he is insane. That is like the real dangers of cocaine use right there. Why did he get in trouble? He's like a Trump supporter. Yeah, I think he dropped a hard R. Oh. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Damn, racist yeah. ass pizza. Yeah, tracks yeah. now. Yeah. But he's gone from the company so I, you know, I, I'm not supporting him when I eat <laughs> He's it. off the board, but you know he's fucking he's godfather in that shit. He's got these niggas on a string, he got the bro. Marionette. Yeah, marionette and dog. He's from behind the scenes. You think they're going to let John the father off the board? Completely fade to black? No way. Well, I don't think he would love that term. John the father? No, fade to black. <laughs> Fair enough. Fade to white. Fade the fade the white. Fade the white. <sighs> you got anything uh coming up? Just um just a lifetime of being the best at what I do, man. Mm. Mm. Hopefully. Yeah, well, probably not for the rest of my life. It's hard to stay, you know, keep up. You don't think you don't want to do the the store for the rest of your days? Oh fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you enjoy. I can. I'm forty five doing this. I'm gonna jump off a fucking bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine you being like sixty five, just like low balling fucking people on Depop still, be yeah. like turning over to your wife and just being like, I got it for 50. <laughs> Look at this Slayer tee, this fucking idiot. <laughs> this is a $350 t-shirt. I got it for 25 bucks, babe. And she's like, okay, honey. <laughs> go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. And you're like, All right, I'm going to own the best. I'm the fucking best reseller. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I would like for people to watch this so I can just be on TV instead. That would be sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. So, uh, CEO of Netflix, if you're watching this, uh, CEO of NBC. <clears throat> NBC, you want to go public broad like a public broadcasting? Yeah, I just don't think that there's any good by anybody at late night. Oh, that actually reminds me. I do have some talk about. Is Carson Daly still on TV? Because he had a late night talk show. I think. He did, and did it not have any emotion? I think I think Carson Daly owns like a big production company, like Ryan Seacrest had us. Oh, okay, and he just I was like, like where's he at? He's think, gotta be rich. Yeah, he makes money like behind the scenes. I think. I think he's like. I think he make. Maybe he does work with Ryan Seacrest because you know Ryan Seacrest got like four hundred million dollars or some shit. He's rich as hell. He's rich as hell. We need to start working with he him. He was in. Um, he was in American Idol, right? Yeah, that's. The I host. remember distinctly being like eleven years old and arguing with my aunt because she swore up and down he was straight, and I was like, "I'm a kid and I know he's gay." <laughs> <laughs> my dad's like, "Hell yeah." <laughs> All right, all right. Well, I guess we could call it quits. All right. There. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody, right. for watching. Like, subscribe, tap in, comment, whatever. Luke's NYC, OG Luke, Mook, Tokyo Drift 420, Nasty Work Podcast.